What is this? Remember Halo. Is this like a nostalgia capsule for Halo? This could be interesting. What's up there? Like what? Maybe someone out there was wondering what it's like here. I guess. Do you think we'll meet them? I hope so. Don't you? The correct answer to the question, who is the worst game developer, is 343 Industries. <laughs> is that moist? What a time to be a Halo fan. The horrible choices that they've made by coming out and literally saying, hey, we, you know, we did something different here, guys. We hired people that hated Halo to make Halo. Hey, I mean, split screen be damned, who cares? They'll forge at launch. Hold up, did you just say no forge at launch? So many no things forge. were missing from previous Halos. It's as if the team forgot what works. No co-op campaign at launch. You can't even play custom games, it's broken. You can't even watch feeder mode because it's broken. <laughs> oh, look at that. It's the has up arm set from Halo Reach. Unfortunately, I can't earn it in Halo Infinite. I have to pay $20. There's no way $20. they're going to sell us the Jeez. classic red color for $7. I'm losing my mind. I'm losing my mind on this game. Seven the bucks promise wet. of live service games and the we'll finish it later mentality. Are you out of your mind? We're going backwards, guys. We're, we're going, going backwards. backwards. Yeah, that is rated T. I thought we were going to get a flood with turn. I guess that's just not gonna happen now. You cannot let a team toil and mess around and goof off with your flagship IP for almost a decade. <laughs> it's just one thing after another, after another with this company. I think the fundamental difference between the Bungie and 343 is, is the, the way that they were formed. 343 was brought in to work on an existing franchise, an existing universe, with an existing fan base on existing hardware. Well, we feel really good about our, our studio 343 that's working on Halo today, and it's one of those rare opportunities when you can build a team of people that are uniquely passionate about Halo. Many of these people grew up playing Halo. That's com probably completely unique, yeah, right? Because every single person there their destination was Halo rather than a job. You are on the cover of the new Bloomberg Have you seen Business this? Halo Look at that. The when real I was growing Master up. Chief. Master Chief is human. He's not a machine. But He's I didn't play I didn't play Halo until Halo Reach. I it took me a while to play Halo. But even when I played it, I was like, wait, this is actually pretty crazy. Halo Reach was sick. And then I played Halo 3 ODST. And I was like, this is pretty sick. And then I played Halo, the original, at the computer lab in high school. And I was like, damn, this wasn't too bad either. I, I like missed out pretty hard since I didn't have an Xbox. But Halo is pretty huge. Set of armor with a big weapon. Halo He's Reach a was human a gem for with sure. resilience. It's a chance for people who have played as Chief for so long to put the controller down, sit back on the couch, enjoy the experience of learning about the Chief in a way that you have never done before. Like Marvel and Star Wars, Halo is a universe where hundreds Marvel. of stories can be told Stars. and where millions of experiences can be shared. We knew we wanted to expand the audience as far as we could, but still satisfy the core as much as possible. Halo 4's loadout system uh, frequently and sort of appropriately gets compared to other FPS games, including Call of Duty and others, and, uh, and that's a reasonable sort of uh, comparison. Yeah, I think Halo 5 right. uh, is one of, if not the best, multiplayer versions of Halo. Jump up in the air and I turn my stabilizers mm -hmm. on, the jets kick in, but you can go back, forward, all directions. I don't even remember it that really much. Limiting. I played it, but I don't remember it. it. You Halo Reach multiplayer was... Top of edges throughout the world. ...would be adding so another clamber route. Halo so has got me into the been franchise. synonymous <laughs> with online competition. With Halo 5 Guardians, we are fully embracing that legacy with the biggest investment in Xbox eSports history. You know, making the decision to remove split screen was a really tough one um, for everyone here at 343. Yeah, there's no flood in the game. No split screen. Uh, yeah, we're not dealing with the flood uh, in this one. We got uh, other surprises in store. Oh, you're opening up a pack. Animating. Someone makes that up. Mongoose, Needler, Ghost, Fuel Rod Cannon. Yes. All the details Pack are opening. It. First time. Oh, yeah. so you're, you're really hoping it doesn't crash, right? A legendary. We've also had a lot of learnings along the way. What did he say? I hope it doesn't you know, crash. That's fantastic. This is the first time. Oh, yeah. so you're, you're really hoping it doesn't crash, right? <laughs> That's fantastic. 
I mean, they We've are also testing had the system. a lot of learnings along the way. <laughs> that is you know, a funny thing to say. <laughs> we fell down with the, pack the just makes it crash. launch of MCC. It's been 20 minutes of searching. Nothing. Not a single match. Welcome to the Master Chief Collection, where you get a black screen of death every five oh, seconds. Oh man, the Master Chief Collection. Holy shit. There is not a single oh, that was title such on this entire disc that's worth trying to play right now. Not a single title. That's the 343 right. guarantee. Is when they release a game, the shit is gonna this suck. This seems so cool work. too. I was so excited for the Master Chief Collection because, like I said, I never really got the, the like opportunity to play halo 2 and halo and whatever multiplayer and whatnot online i was stuck on ps3 playing cod you know which isn't so bad but you know i just didn't get to have this experience and by the time i did get to have it the experience was just absolute dog shit <laughs> the, the master chief collection was just absolutely terrible it was not good and it was massive to download too holy shit that thing was like 200 gigabytes I've been sitting here for 40 I mean, minutes. it is four games, but holy shit. What? You can't do it. You can't play a match. 343 three didn't earn this. That's why they don't care about it. They didn't earn this. Resolving the current matchmaking issues in Halo the Master Chief Collection remains our top priority. Why can't I get a match? It's been a week later. And this game still ain't fucking working, bro. We know that some players are still seeing issues in game and we're committed to improving the experience with additional content updates in the near future. I don't know why, but I think that they made it worse. I bought an Xbox <laughs> One just to play <laughs> Is he talking about the song they made it worse? Committed to improving the experience with additional content updates in the near future. We're just talking about the content. I don't know why, but I think that they made it worse. I bought <laughs> an Xbox One just to play right. Halo. And I have had the worst time with it. It was incredibly um, crushing to let the fans down. It was supposed to be a love letter to the fans. Yeah. And, um, you know, we let them down. Can we reveal anything about the next Halo FPS title today? I think the only thing that we'll confirm as we do listen to fans, um, there will be split screen. Right. So, oh. Uh, <laughs> Halo Infinite multiplayer oh, will be free to play and invite more of you than ever before to become a Spartan hero. Why the Slipstreet engine of it, man? is really this labor Should've of love for 343. It. We've invested heavily. It's going to be the foundation of our next 10 years of Halo experiences. And that uh, trailer that we did was that's what Halo means to the studio. We are a very competitive game. That's our DNA, that's who we are, right? You go back all the way to the very first Halo, right? Multiplayer, I mean, it is it is a highly competitive game. Competition is kind of core to, uh, to Halo. Will there be playable elites in Halo Infinite? Uh, no, the, we're not currently planning on supporting elites no. as, a, as a playable character. And the reason is, you know, this is a Spartan story. So we focus on how Spartans battle against each other and that it feels fair and it's competitive. We have had to make the difficult decision not to ship campaign split screen co-op. Folks have asked us, are they in, are they out? What's going on with assassinations? So what's what's the scoop there? So they're not in for launch and I think we're just gonna be straight about that, right? Is there a plan to bring back dual wielding mm -hmm. in Halo Infinite? No Currently, dual wielding. No, that's, that's Whoa, not what? in the cards right now. We wanna share the exciting news that we got the official confirmation that Halo Infinite has gone gold. Let's go. Gold. We made the really tough decision to delay shipping campaign co-op for gold. I feel like I feel like they've flown past gold before. The fact they even acknowledged is kind of weird. <laughs> That's interesting. I'm sorry, but Halo Infinite is garbage. Yeah, that was pretty rough. At least from what I remember, is pretty rough. It's kind of weird. All these questions are interesting. Like how they got rid of all of these things in the game. Launch. Huh. And we it's also made weird. a tough call to delay shipping Forge past launch All right. as well. And as developers, when you no Forge, a game, man. you want to get that game out there. And that almost seems like they just us, have multiplayer. The line. Reality, <laughs> they just have TDM. It's going to be the starting line. Single player TDM, no split screening. Look at this roadmap. Enter That's pretty much all I remember, too. Two seasons too. a year doesn't cut it. It's just and not a battle pass. That's not <laughs> what our players deserve. It's not what they expect. It's not what our team wants to do. It's not what I want to do. 
there's just been a lot of introspective time to really reflect on, like, what have we done as 343? Um, where have we made mistakes? Where have we hit it right? And then what does Halo mean to all of us? And then also I would just say, don't sweat the mistakes. Um, because I would say that every failure point has probably been um, an opportunity versus really a failure. Oh, is this the beginning? The coolest thing about the about Bungie though, it's like OG that, Xbox right there. Holy! Everybody here really cares about what they're doing, and, and it's important to them. They they do it well, and it's what makes them happy. The humble beginnings hey of Halo. I'm, Jason. I'm one of the co-founders of Bungie and the lead on Halo. Microsoft estimated that they have sold one million copies of Halo in the U.S. One million. Fifty percent of Xbox owners are also Halo players. Oh, yeah, they even I got the four player split screen. Holy! On everybody's mind right now. Well, fellas, November the 9th, the launch of Halo 2 will also mark one of the biggest video game oh, look launches at the scenes. in history. Look at the people. So many people for the Halo. Holy. No! <laughs> Proximity voice. You can get close to somebody in a game and talk to them, and only that person can hear you. Oh, yeah, it's this map. Yeah, we used to play this map all the time during uh, computer lab. <laughs> Peanut butter jelly time. Peanut butter jelly time. We didn't even know how big Halo was going to get. How, how can anything be bigger than Halo? I think Peter, uh, as we walk off stage, I think there's something to be fun to show these people. Uh... This is the way the world ends. This is the end of our trilogy. This is going to be the end of the story. Safe Home and Forge, I think, represent the coolest features that we have in Halo 3. This is the stuff that's going to keep people playing for years on end, make a billion hours get on the Xbox Live. <laughs> Forge was pretty crazy. I didn't get to play with it as much as I wanted to, but the bit I did, it was fun. Holy, so many people online. It's finished. It's finished. I'll miss you. Wake me when you need me. Jeez. Well, that was a good video. It's like a little time capsule for Halo. Man, that makes me wish I could play like Halo Reach for the first time again. I remember the first time I played Halo Reach. I remember I stayed up for the next 12 hours after that. <laughs> just at my buddy's house in his living room. Just playing Halo Reach for the rest of the night. Yeah, it was such a good time.